Hey everybody, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of the garden and show you what's been going on. Um, this is the first time that it hasn't been windy, so I can actually shoot a video and you can actually hear me. So I'm going to kind of show you what's been going on in the garden. We've got a lot of new stuff, so I'll try to keep it short and sweet, but it might be a little bit longer video. So let's take a walk in the garden. All right, so this is my rose bed. Uh, we've been doing a little bit of work to it. Still got some more um, work to do. We transplanted my climbing roses, or at least two of them, over against the dog run. I've got one over there, one there, and I planted some chamomile between them. So that'll look really nice. Um, and then I'll have some beans and stuff that'll grow there. Um, but I have my other roses in here. Um, my irises are growing really nicely. We moved my sedum that was right there. We moved it to the back. That way all my roses could kind of be by themselves and they weren't competing with something else. My rhubarb is getting really nice and big. I just planted some bachelor buttons right there in front of it. My daffodils, um, they've already come and went. Um, it's uh, really nice just to have some nice lush green foliage in here though. So we'll take it. The biggest thing that's happened since the last garden video is uh, my husband was able to get all my trellises up. All my new ones. So um, this is the additional trellis um, that we got put up. Is three panels here. Um, and then um, back there, that one way in the back, that's two panels. That was finally up and my husband um, put a fence in for my um, indeterminate tomatoes for one of the beds where I'm growing them. Um, I have lots of areas I'm growing tomatoes um, but he helped me get things figured out. So this is where my bee bomb's growing. It's doing really good. Uh, let's see. My medicinal bed's coming along pretty good. Uh, my lemon balm's coming up. My valerian. Uh, yarrow. I have cat mint here and I have a cage around it to keep the cats out of it. Um, my echinacea is doing really good. The second year is when it really takes off. I planted this for the first time last year. So this is now a two year old plant so it should bloom. That one is a pink one. I also have a yellow one that I have to transplant. Uh, my variegated thyme, chives, hound. Some more echinacea. This is actually the purple echinacea. Yeah, my shadow's going to cast pretty big. Um, I have my hyssop, uh, bee balm. Uh, this is sage, and uh, it wasn't looking too good. This is a four year old plant, and usually by now it's really nice and green and it's showing signs of life, but um, it took a while, but it's starting to green up now. And then my two fig trees they should start coming up probably middle of this month we should start seeing some new shoots my lavender garlic bed is doing really nice <clears throat> this is my tansy and uh, I found out if uh, you watched my earlier videos or anything or if not right here used to be my pollinator bed. These, This pallet and this pallet was connected. It had a long tunnel uh, where it had a bunch of pollinator or uh, pollinator friendly flowers. And in it, that mix I had borage and safflower. And um, I have a bunch of seedlings from my borage and my safflower in here. Um, I'm going to let it grow a little bit more. I've already transplanted some to containers um, to get them to grow a little bigger and then I'll move them to a different part of the garden. But these ones I'm going to let grow a little bit and then I'm going to feed them as fodder to the chickens. It's really good for them to eat that kind of stuff. So, but yeah, they self seed quite regularly. But as you can see, I have all my beds. Um, good to go. They're all marked and it's very, very exciting. A lot of my jugs are starting to sprout. I have herbs that are sprouting, some flowers. Um, I had tomatoes and kale and lettuce and chard and I'll show you those in a minute. 
Um, this is my pea trellis. I've already got some peas going. You can see them here. I've got some more I've got to put in. But they're, they're getting there. It's been succession planting, so I don't have a lot going on right now. You can start to see the trays of um, my... These were just transplanted um, from my jugs. I have chamomile and a couple types of lettuces over there. And then you can see all the lettuces and mustards and kale I've got here. These all came from jugs, just like this. Um, these are all bachelor buttons. I've already taken quite a bit out to plant. Uh, safflowers. These are some beets that I just opened up today. But this is how I grow 99.5% of my crops is in these jugs. And then um, with uh, lettuces and things like that, I plant so many of them that I'm able to move them into flats when they get a little bit bigger. Um, and then uh, I can sell the extras uh, with our uh, landscaping business so that works pretty cool and then my uh, shed I'll show you what's going on in here not really much of anything at the moment um, but a few things so this I use in the summer basically just to plant or to grow my peppers but I also start some of my beans in here I have to start beans instead of planting them directly because uh, my cats and some animals will dig up the beans. So I start them in here and then I put them outside when they're about two to three inches tall and have a couple of uh, good nice leaves on them. But here is where I put um, my borage, some of those seedlings I showed you and then I also had, um, I think this is Gallardia. I think because it, these came up where my Gallardia was last year um, so I think that's what that is and then we got some extra catnip going on and this is some uh, we had some ornamental grass that we got uh, last year and I split the clump up a little bit um, so I could make my new bed in the front yard and uh, so we had some extra and then these are my cherries these are na knacking cherries I think um, they're going to get planted in the chicken run, and there'll be a nice little bush. A lot going on. It's wonderful that we had some warm days, and the sun is shining. We got some good soaking rain, which was great. Um, the, the ground needed it to freshen up the, the grass and the flowers and things like that. And I even see something wonderful. I've been waiting to see it. And now I do. We even have dandelions that are finally coming out, which is good because um, the honeybees have been out for a couple weeks now, but with the cold weather, the dandelions haven't really come up yet. So now the dandelions are up, which means the bees have food. So that's what's going on in this area. I'm going to, we have a bunch of lazy cats enjoying the sunshine. I'm going to take you over to my container bed area. I almost forgot to show you that we moved Dad's monument stone. Um, it was over in our rose bed, but it kind of was getting buried behind things. And it's supposed to be a focal point. So we put it right where you walk into the garden. So you see it and uh, it's just a nice... Nice conversation piece and a nice way to remember Dad, who passed away about three years ago now. Alright, so this is our container bed area. This is where I plant a lot of my lettuces and things that uh, are low to the ground uh, to help my back out. Um, so I plant lettuces, kale, um, onions, uh, all sorts of green spinach, things like that, and these beds. So, yeah, these um, were all transplanted from the jugs that I showed you. I really like the uh, tot soy mustard. And this is um, giant noble spinach. But right next to it is the tot soy mustard, and it looks a lot like bok choy. It's really pretty. And then I have my kale and things going on in there. 
So yeah. So that's what's going on in my garden. That is my garden update. Thank you so much for watching me on my journey. Uh, check me out on my other videos. Be sure to subscribe if you find my content just very exciting for you. And I hope you do. It's my goal to inspire you and give you a reason to get out in that garden. But I hope wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.